You hit land. You hit land. You hit something. What's going on guys? Right now it's Wednesday, August 30th. It's 1756 and today is a big day. We got a weekend coming up and we don't know where to travel to. So we're gonna throw a dart at a map of Japan and we're gonna go wherever it lands. However, we've got a couple of rules. Rule number one, we are not going to Tokyo. Rule number two, not going to Osaka. Rule number three, no Kyoto. We're trying to find some place new, some place that people don't go, some place new to show you guys. Yes, so we want to go somewhere new. So let's check out the map. So here we got the map. We've taped it up. We put some cardboard behind it and we've secured it as good as possible. So hopefully when the dart lands on the map, it'll stick. And so anywhere it lands, we're gonna go. So if it lands in Okinawa, we're gonna go there. If it lands in Hokkaido, we're gonna go there. If it lands down here near Fukuoka or over here, we're gonna go there as well. So George, where do you hope that the dart lands? I think I would love to go somewhere south here, especially maybe hit up Nagasaki, like Kagoshima area, somewhere really far from where we're usually, oh. you know, traveling around. It's gonna be take a while, it's gonna be a little expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay. For me personally, I hope that the dart lands somewhere in the north. So whenever we travel down south, it's a lot more expensive for us to travel down there. But if it lands Anywhere above Tokyo, even in Hokkaido, it's going to be significantly more cheap. So me, I hope the dart, the dart lands somewhere up in here. But I think we're ready to do it. Wherever the dart lands, we're going to go. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I forgot to mention that I'm going to be doing the throw while blindfolded. And also, I'm going to be spun around a couple of times, and then I'm going to make the throw and so that you guys don't think I'm, like, rigging it or something like that, like, purposely throwing it in a certain direction. I'm not going to have any idea of where I'm going to throw it. All I know is going to be I'm going to be facing the map, and I'm just going to throw it. Actually, yeah, can you tie that? Okay. Yeah, tie that up. Okay. Yeah, that's, that, I can't see anything. <laughs> all right, guys, I literally can't see anything at all, but on top of it, I'm gonna do a couple spins and I'm gonna get myself pretty dizzy. <laughs> Keep turning. And stop. You're good. Yep. Straight ahead. And I'm not missing, you know, I'm straight ahead. All right, guys, here I go. I literally can't see anything. I, I might not hit it on the first try. All right, ready? Yep, go ahead. You're in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, let, me, let me show them. Yeah, All right, yeah, guys. Bring it up, bring it up. All right, guys. Just uh, so you know, this was the first try. I absolutely nailed the board. You but destroyed the map. It landed in the middle of the ocean. It, it didn't hit any part of the island. <laughs> so I got to do another throw because I, I actually missed it. So one yeah. more time, one more time. <sighs> All right. Turn in. Which way? This way? Yep. Straight. All right. Oh, go back and stop. And then take a step to the left. Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right, guys. This is number two. Hopefully, I don't hit the ocean. Let's see. All right, that one's closer. <laughs> Looks like you hit. Looks like you hit one of the islands south of Tokyo. <laughs> no way. Yeah, you actually did. No way. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna, we're gonna move it. So it looks like I hit right in here. These, there is, actually is, is there, an island here. But is there any, and it looks like water though. Oh, no. Yeah, you're right. The actual hole is right next to an island. He hit right next to Shiki, Shikijima. There, but it didn't, did not hit any land, right? No, didn't touch a la any land. Right next to some tiny island south of Tokyo, though. Okay. You were closer, you were closer. All right. So th that, that one was really close, but it still did not hit. Didn't touch any land. It did not touch any land. You guys can see it right here. It was really close to some tiny islands here. Really close to these tiny islands, but still it did not connect with any piece of land. All right. So I'm not counting that. That that still does not count. It's closer though. That did 
did not do anything. Okay, okay, you just got. <laughs> you hit the door. The what? You hit the door. The door? <laughs> did you see? Yeah, I <laughs> Oh my god. There we go. Is that money? I think you hit. You hit the map again. Oh my you god. hit water. That that one was water too. This that one, was, yeah, this one was again right next to his first one. Up up here. Dang, this is harder than yeah. it looks. This is yeah. harder than it looks. Oh, you hit land. You hit land. You hit something. Wait, wait. Let's oh. go. Yeah, baby! Yeah, okay! <laughs> Alright, guys. Directly into Hokkaido. Let's go. Let's... We're, we're going up north. Alright. We're going up north. What town is this? You hit... <laughs> Looks like right near a place called Shintoku. <laughs> ah. Alright, yeah. Direct in the center of Hokkaido. Yeah, it's Shin... Shintoku. Shin... No, there's something like below it. Oh, right below? Right Looks below. like... Shimizu. Looks like we're going up north to Hokkaido. It's a small little town. It looks like a... I have no idea, but it's called Shimizu. All right. Looks pretty cool. Wait, Lots let's... Lots of research. Let's, let's tack it up. So, we're going to tack it up. So, let's see. Right here, direct hit right there. So that's where we're gonna where we're gonna be going. It's called the closest little name is called Shimizu. Interesting. Right by Shintoku. Looks like the biggest city next to it is Obihiro. I've not heard of that place. <laughs> this might be a challenge to get to, but <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take a while. This is uh. This is gonna be interesting. So I guess we're gonna be going up to Hokkaido. We, we can do other things in Hokkaido, but we're eventually gonna have to get to Shimizu. <laughs> Shimizu. All right, guys, just just a quick Google search of Shimizu in Hokkaido. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks very, looks like it's got a lot of nature, a lot of wilderness. It says, Let's see what the little brief says, a Wikipedia. It says, a population of the town is 10,243, and its primary source of income is through its agriculture. All right, guys, we're going to see how it is. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's good, but that's part of the adventure. That's why we're doing this, to see places in Japan that people normally don't see. So, All right. Well, All right. that's it. So today is Wednesday. Wednesday. We're gonna be heading out tomorrow night? I think so, yeah, unless there's a reason not to. Okay, we're either gonna be heading out tomorrow night or the next day. I'm excited, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I literally I, never heard of that place. Yeah, we're gonna mind. do some research tonight and see what all is there. And who knows, but we're gonna check it out. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we just got in the car. We got a bit of a plan. We're gonna try to make it to Hakodate tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna go to up to another city. And then we're gonna make it to Sapporo. And then on that second day is when we're gonna make it to Shimizu. So we got a solid plan. We're gonna figure out more things to do, but it's looking good so far. And we're both pretty excited. Should be a fun trip. Hopefully Shimizu is awesome, but we'll see. So we just made it to the Hachinohe train station. We're just gonna get some food before our train. Our train's at around 2012 tonight. So we got like an hour before our train. All right guys, so we got our passes to Hakodate. And it's unlimited train rides from Hachinohe up to Sapporo and back. So 24,000 yen for this ticket. And so our train leaves at 2113 and we've got about five minutes to it till it leaves. But we're excited. We're on our way to Shimizu in Hokkaido. This is crazy. What are your thoughts on Shimizu? 
Well, I know it's a skiing town, so I wonder how much they'll have to do in the summer. Yeah. So, it's at the base of some mountains, so at the very least, it's going to be pretty. Yeah. It'll definitely be pretty, hopefully. From the photos, it looks like a bunch of farmland. It's crazy to think that we're on our way to Shimizu in Hokkaido. And this all started from throwing a dart in my house. Just threw the dart right at the map, landed in Hokkaido right on Shimizu, and now we're going. All right, guys. On the train. All right, everyone, so we made it to Shin Hakodate. Right now it's 2148, so it's getting pretty late, and we're just gonna spend the night here. We're gonna stay at this hotel right here, just the Tokyo Inn, just to get some rest. We basically just save probably about two hours for our next train ride so that we don't have to do everything in one single day. We're gonna stop it. Actually, we're not gonna go to Shimizu tomorrow. We're gonna go to a smaller city and then Sapporo and then from Sapporo we'll be going to Shimizu. So I saw this thing right by our hotel. Pretty weird looking, it looks like some type of alien. Yeah, I have literally... Pretty weird. All right guys, so we made it to our first hotel of this trip. We're just gonna head to bed and then we're gonna get up and take our next train to the next city, so. We're just gonna go to bed now. The hotel has free breakfast, so tomorrow should be a good day. See you tomorrow. All right, good morning, everyone. Today is September 1st. Our hotel has some free breakfast, so we're just gonna eat and then head to the train station. We slept good, we're fully energized, and we're ready to start the day. Let's go. All right, everyone, so we're heading back to the Hakodate station. So we're gonna take a train and we're gonna go to a city called Nobori Betsu. We both haven't been there before, so we're just gonna check it out on the way to Sapporo. And then we're gonna spend the night in Sapporo and check it out, uh, walk around the city out there as well. So just doing some, some stops along the way till we get to Shimizu. It's gonna take about two hours to Nabori Betsu, then we're gonna get off and explore for a little bit. All right, everyone, so we made it to Nabori Betsu. We're gonna explore this city for a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to Sapporo. Let's go. So after doing a little research about Nabori Betsu, they seem to have a lot of demon type of things, demon statues, demon sights to see. And even when you come to the train station, it's got a picture of a demon that says welcome to Nabori Betsu. Pretty interesting. So this is the Nabori Betsu train station right here. You can see they've got some bears right here because there's a bear farm here that we might check out later today but so there's bears and then outside they've got another demon right there and I'll go check that out too. So this is the the demon that I was talking about earlier, check that out. So we're gonna take this bus and go up to an onsen area called Hell Valley. All right, we just got out of the bus. Now we're gonna do some exploring. I'm gonna go to this Hell Valley and see what it's all about. But just driving around the city, it looks pretty neat. Looks like there's some rivers, a lot of nature. What are your thoughts, George? It looks really nice. The, there's a, got a lot of hotels, a lot of like traditional, like ryokans as well. The main like onsen area is like 15 minutes from the train station by bus, but it's super easy to get to though. See, there's another demon club right there. Here's some more demon statues right there. Lots of demons around here. All right, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is check out this bear farm. We have to take a cable car all the way up to the bear park. So we're here right now. We're gonna check it out. Hopefully it'll be interesting. Hopefully we don't think it's too weird with how the bears are treated there, but hopefully it's good. But this is what it's gonna look like. 
they've got a bunch of bears in there we're gonna check it out hopefully it's okay bunch of bears souvenirs bear everything <laughs> look at these sunglasses dude so the tickets were 2,800 yen per person. And now we're gonna head to the cable car. All right guys, we just got off the gondola. We're pretty high up here in the mountains now. Oh, I already see some bears. Let's check it out. All right guys, here's the first bears that I see. Look at that. Here's what it looks like at the top here. So this is the first enclosure for the bears. What the heck? There's four bears right here. Oh, people, people throw the, some snacks at them and they catch them in their mouth. And it's clapping. はい、ありがとうございます。ね、お待たせいたしました。あきれさんの水泳競争、レディー。あ、面白い。あ、これでいこう、これでいこう。はい、見ていきますよ。ご自身。ご自身。ご自身。ご自身。ご自身。ご自
What are your thoughts? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. I think it was a little expensive for what it was. Uh, if this was maybe half the price, I would say definitely do it. But unless you really love bears or really love zoos or whatnot, it was. Or you just want the the view, which is probably the best part. That's right, the view. I didn't mention that. The view was probably the best part. Yeah, I definitely. I think that's. Yeah, but honestly, probably wouldn't come come back here, and no. I wouldn't recommend it. We're gonna try this ramen shop right here. So we're at a place called Hell's Ramen. We're gonna get some ramen noodles. Hopefully, it's tasty. So this is the noodles that we got. We also got some dumplings. We both got level three spiciness. So it's gonna be pretty hot. It's pretty hot. It's definitely opening up the sinuses, mm. but it is really good. So I ate everything in the bowl, ate all the ramen. <laughs> we ate all the dumplings. This place was delicious. This ramen shop right here was really good. So if you're in the city, make sure to check it out. It was delicious. We got we got level three spice. It wasn't too spicy, nah. just it was perfect. And I like spicy food. Mm -hmm. So definitely recommend going to that ramen shop if you're here. So we stopped at a little ice cream shop on the way to our next destination. And I got the matcha flavored ice cream. Looks delicious. Let's try it out. Eat the whole thing. All right, everyone, this is the ice cream shop that we went to. This is where I got the matcha ice cream and right. definitely recommend because it was delicious. There's nine demon clubs right there along with the steaming chimney. And right now we're on our way to Hell Valley and I see more demons straight ahead. So let's check it out. So here's a blue demon right here. And then look at this one right here. So we've, we've entered into the National Park of Hell Valley, and I can see it. The smell of sulfur is filling through the air. It smells like, like a gas pipe oh leaked God. open. And I'm gonna show you guys Hell Valley right now. Here we go. This is a beautiful path and we're walking to the geyser and Hell Valley is directly to our right. This is crazy. This is crazy. We are in deep into a Hell Valley right now. We are walking directly towards the geyser, right? What is that? I said the temperature of the pond is 80 Celsius, so like 180, 175 degrees Fahrenheit. One more look at Hell Valley. Pretty crazy looking. This has actually turned into a bit of a hike up to this. It's supposed to be a hot spring where you can put your feet in. We're trying to get to it right now. And this has turned into a hike. This water is boiling hot. You can see the steam coming up. You can see the it's bubbling because it's so hot. Pretty awesome. But we are really, it really smells like sulfur. The fumes are it's pretty bad, pretty strong. It does not smell good. Oh, see, it's like coming over the edge here. I also cannot see at all. My glasses are gone. It's kind of hard to breathe a little bit. Because the sulfur is just being oh. so yeah, strong. I want so this says danger, keep out. You do not want to go in that water. Nah. You'll get burned alive. Why? And there it is. That's the footpath location, right? 
Here we go. Oh. 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 Woo! Feet are in the water. Dang, that's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. Not too bad, though. Beautiful waterfall right there. So it's actually so shallow that I could just step up into the hot pool. It feels really nice. All right, so we got our shoes back on. Now we're gonna keep moving and see what else we can find. I think that we're heading back, but there might be more stuff ahead, but we'll see. There's another demon in the demon child. This is the welcome demon. So we're gonna bail on this city right now just because the weather is so bad. And we're gonna try to go to Sapporo early check into our hotel and then explore around Sapporo because there should be a lot of stuff to do in Sapporo. All right, just got off the bus and we've made it to Sapporo. The city of Sapporo is beautiful. It's nice weather too, it's not raining. Yeah, it's nice weather, it stopped raining. So it's gonna be a good night to explore and see what's out here. All right guys, Coco Hotel. Pretty nice, a lot of space here. Big room, two beds, nice TV. Yeah, good room. Coco Hotel, it's pretty good. So we're gonna get some dinner, walk around for a little bit, and then call it a, call it a night after that. Ooh. Check this out. Pretty cool. Shows this restaurant out of all the restaurants here. We ended up choosing this one right here. So let's see how it is. Oh, looks good. So again, ate all the ramen. Clam ramen was delicious here. Make sure to check this place out if you're in Sapporo. So before we got back to our hotel, we stopped at this wine bar. We both are having a nice glass of wine it's delicious this restaurant is strictly for wine they've got a bunch of different wines right here and the wine is delicious the night the nightlife here in Sapporo seems to be pretty good all right guys we're back in our hotel today was a great day we did a lot of different things and I'm looking forward to tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna go see the city that we hit with the dart, Shimizu. So I'm looking forward to it, it's gonna be awesome. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone, today is Saturday, September the 2nd, and today's the day that we're gonna be making it to Shimizu. It's gonna take us about two and a half hours on train to get to Shimizu, and then from there we're gonna go to the next city, it's a bigger city called Obihiro, and we're gonna stay there for a while. So. Today's the day we make it to the city that the dart hit. Let's do it. All right guys, just checked out of hotel number two. Now we're on the way to the train station to make our way to Shmiju. Let's go. All right guys, we made the train. We're on our way to Shmizu. Let's go. All right guys, we are here. We just got off the train. We are now in Shmizu. So we're gonna leave the train station and see what we can find. All right, everyone, this is our first look at Shmizu. All right, guys, here's a little bit of a proof. This sign says Shmizu Town. And it's got some examples of things you can do. Looks like a bunch of farmland, maybe some golf. Yeah, we're just gonna keep walking around, see if we can see anything that we might wanna check out. Gonna be honest guys, everything looks like it's either closed or like run down, right? Pretty much. What are your first impressions, George? Pretty much what I thought, just a random town in the middle of nowhere that people, you know, farm primarily. See guys, a lot of these buildings look like they're just closed. As there's definitely an aroma of cows or farm animals, we've walked 
almost through the whole main area it looks like and we still haven't found like an open restaurant or Honestly, anything an open business hardly yeah op even an open business there's not much out here guys we're gonna keep looking around for a little bit longer but so we think we found a restaurant we're gonna go and try it out it's supposed to be soba noodles so we're gonna check it out right now All right, guys, here's the food that we ordered. Looks good. Soba noodles, some rice. Looks good, right, George? Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Until I end up eating all the soba noodles, all the rice, and all the curry. This rest restaurant was actually really, really good. I liked it a lot. If you're ever in Shimizu, make sure to go to this restaurant because it was really good. All right, guys, just finished eating at this restaurant me and george both thought it was delicious yeah, it was and then as soon as you step outside it's just an instant whiff of <laughs> of cow manure just oh yeah it's just it's very very strong too walking through the town of shimizu all right guys there's the shimizu shrine right there let's check it out got a nice flint flag of Japan right there pretty cool Tory gate let's check it out looks pretty nice inside all right guys there it is it's the Shimizu shrine pretty crazy that we made it all the way out here just by throwing the dart our whole journey was made, was decided we had to base our whole journey around a single dart throw. Shimizu was a success. Mission complete. The mission has been completed. We made it to Shimizu, the city that we hit with the dart. What a crazy experience that's been. Although that, um, although there wasn't much to do here, it was still a great journey. And the journey's not over yet. We still got a couple more things we want to do at other cities and then we got to head back so we did it we threw the dart at japan at a map of japan and we made it to shimizu that's just that's just pretty crazy don't you think george it's pretty crazy for sure it's been a great experience so far right i think so yeah do you like shimizu it's all right i wouldn't come back but yeah. the dart guided us here so we got to come here yeah i wouldn't wouldn't come back either but don't knock it until you try it you know i don't want to you know, it seems like a very nice town, very safe place. There's just not as much to do. Yeah, and the people are very nice. The people are very nice here. So that doesn't mean that you won't like it. Hmm. So if you ever have the opportunity, maybe yeah, come it's to Shimizu your way. if yeah. it's on the way, stop by Shimizu and give them some business because they are great people here. All right, everyone, we made it to Obihiro. We've got some ideas of some things to do here. So we're gonna see if we can capitalize on these opportunities while we're out, out here. And George, George already spotted a unique vending machine. Looks like it's got some like old fashioned sodas in there. Are you gonna get one? Yeah, let's Which... see. Ooh, pretty cool. Can you, like, what does it taste like though? I don't, I don't know, it, it kind of tastes like, um. The closest thing I can think of is grapes. Okay. Like, it's not grapes. Okay. I have no clue. All right, guys, so we're gonna check out this festival for a little bit, see what it has. Looks like they've got ice cream right there. Thank you. So I got a blueberry smoothie. It is delicious. Very thick. It's sweet as well. There's a lot of different options here. Just keeps going and going. 
So we just finished walking through the festival. It had a bunch of different types of food. Corn, bunch of meat, and other different seafoods and desserts. But now we're gonna go to the horse racing area. So we're gonna see, we'll go and watch a bunch of horses start to race. Should be pretty interesting. Here's the entrance. Looks like a little village type thing. And then we're coming up to the horse racing entrance right now. Uh, here's the inside the horse racing area. So the horses start over there and then they have to race. There's there's hills that they have to go over. You can see the hill right there. And then they finish over there. Horse race number two is about to start. I think number three is gonna win on this one. No, it's number one for sure. He thinks number one, but number I think Luno. I think number three is gonna win. We'll see. Go, go, go. Let's close. I was really worried about number eight. Look. Oh my god. Number eight with the win. So number three did not win. Either did George's number. I eight but one. Eight one. I should have stuck with eight. That one was intense. They were that was close. They were battling yeah, there. Eight was not even in the race until like the very end. Yeah, that that was a battle. So these are the sleds that they used to race right here. They get on these and then the horses pull it. So this is the nightlife of OB Hero. We're looking for a restaurant right now. Oh. We're choosing this one right here. Hopefully it's good. So we're getting dumplings and wine. Onion, onion dumplings, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Indian. 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 Yeah. Cool. This is the one we ate at and it was delicious. We had dumplings and some wine and it was delicious. But this, this alley is full of delicious restaurants, but the people that worked there were very nice and we had some good conversations with the people that were sitting there. They were really cool. But yeah, it was a good restaurant. All right guys, so we're back at the hotel. We're gonna film a podcast and we're probably gonna go to bed. We got some things planned for tomorrow, so tomorrow should be a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We're heading to check out of our hotel. We're gonna be leaving Obihiro. We're actually decided, we've actually decided to go to, back to Sapporo. And we're gonna do some things out there like the Sapporo Beer Factory. So we ended up taking a taxi to the museum and here it is. This is the Sapporo Beer Museum. We're gonna go on, go inside, check it out, get some food. Should be pretty cool. So before we go in the museum, we're gonna get some food first. It's called the the Beer Garden, and there's a bunch of different restaurants here. So we're gonna go get some food before we go into the museum. That is, it, good. is this the one that you want to go to? Yeah, yeah, it's Genghis Khan. Okay, so we're heading to this one. I guess it's got Genghis Genghis Khan, delicious meat. Smell it. You can air. smell it. The aroma is already in the air. It smells delicious. Whoa. Got some potatoes, sausage, and chicken, and then the meat is still cooking. The Genghis Khan is hitting the spot. So we got all you can eat for about an hour. So we can just keep ordering meat until we're too full. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna get some more meat right now. So we ate a bunch of meat. We ate a lot of chicken and Genghis Khan. We're both super full. George is just gonna have another beer and then we're probably gonna head out. But this restaurant was delicious. I am super full, but it was a good choice of restaurant. All right, guys, so we're leaving the beer museum. We actually went through the beer museum, but there wasn't cameras allowed in. So I wasn't able to record, but it was really interesting. It shows the history of beer in Japan 
and it's got kind of just a, a room that just lays out all the history you can read through it all it was actually kind of small there's a lot of information to read but the area is is kind of small but it's definitely worth a visit if you're in Sapporo Japan got a whole case of Sapporo beer because it's only found in Hokkaido right yep Ready? Hokkaido classic back at Sapporo station all right guys so right now we're in the Shinkansen at in Hakodate. This is the last train before we get to Hachinohe and then the trip will be over. So, we had a mission accomplished. You made it all the way to Shimizu after throwing the dart. It's crazy that our entire journey was built based on getting to Shimizu, getting to that location, and we did it. It was a mission accomplished. And it, I think this video kind of shows that it's more about the journey than the destination because the journey we the stops we made along the way were awesome and then when we got to the destination although it wasn't that good it still was an amazing trip so if you guys like this content make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to follow me on instagram tiktok on twitter make sure to subscribe on instagram if you want exclusive content and thank you for your support we'll see you guys next time peace